Welcome to Revival Time Hub, the fire shall ever be burning upon the altar, it shall never go out. Believe me when I tell you what is on your head is what controls what is around your life. There are many people who ha whose hands are full but their heads are empty and easily what is in your hands can evaporate. Real inheritance is not the physical things you carry. The conviction of the one before you, the name that he gives you, the relationships that he gives you, the physical assets which is the least and then the greatest is the mantle and the grace that turned him you will hear the stories of people especially in the body of Christ you will hear a man of God tell you when God called me I could not even speak English and today he has a ministry around the world brothers and sisters it takes more than hard work there are spiritual forces that may have come to partner with such a person there are people who came to this Abuja they did not have up to 100 naira but their mama sent them from the village saying i don't have money but i once helped missionaries in 1971 and they said may my children be blessed my son go with this blessing and that gentleman will carry a box looking like an arm robber and as soon as he steps in abuja the forces of the spirit start mobilizing themselves hear me this is why some people do not fear it is not what is on their hand it is what is on their head that yea i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i fear no evil hear me when i tell you i am a product of many anointings this is what i mean i have secured the blessing the sworn blessing of many people hold on do you see why they took Jesus to the temple immediately he was born they took him to the temple and met Anna the prophetess she spoke over him met Simeon the prophet spoke over him they said now Jesus you can go we, we guarantee you will succeed was our father in the Lord Bishop David Oyedepo who said he was somewhere in the US and the Lord cut short his meeting and said return back and make my people rich he didn't give them any physical money but he came back with an anointing that he can declare and say be blessed and you will hear that somebody did not apply for a job and yet they called him because thou anointest my head with oil but I see the results of my cup you don't anoint my cup you anoint my head but it's my cup that runs over listen believe me sometimes I wish I have the liberty to share testimonies but in many regards it will sound like arrogance I remember years ago a man of God prayed a prayer for me I met that man and I greeted him and I prayed an elderly man and he just said a prayer I I I, I was it, it took a long time to say amen because he laid hands on me and he said apostle he said may God create a problem that only you can solve I said ah no why I'm somebody who is for the body I don't like all these kinds of things how can a man pray that kind of prayer you've heard my story that I was in just many years ago and I went to go and buy sugar cane listen true story and there were two old women who were trying to buy I think sugar cane it was not more than 100 naira I pleaded with them I said you are my parents I'm your child please give me the privilege of paying for you they said no I said let me pay and when I paid they began to bless me and one of the women blessed me in Hausa she said my son forever walk upon gold men are not just made by circumstances there are spiritual investments that men carry I've shared with you my stories of my encounters with the mantles upon God's generals. I, I don't just come and make empty noise. No. 
now you understand what happened when Jesus appeared to me I've shared with you my story when he appeared to me he never gave me anything physical but he stretched his hands and light from the king of kings and lord of lords that light entered into me that surge of power and that surge of grace please help them I came here tonight to redefine inheritance for you. Inheritance is not cars and houses. No, that is the least. Inheritance is not just estates. You have not helped your son, let me tell you. If the only thing you give him is a car and a house, arm robbers can steal the car. They can demolish the house. But can you give something that cannot rust, cannot be destroyed? Hear me. He gave the remaining children gifts. But he gave Isaac everything he had. And yet there was no Isaac carrying a truckload, calling a truck. There are many young people who have been praying for their parents to die. Lord, let them die so I can get the two-bedroom flat. Don't insult your destiny. What was upon your father that made him to never beg? That's what you should look for. Not three-bedroom flats. Not two-bedroom flats. There are shamefully, I say it with all due respect, there are siblings and family members fighting for years and decades over mundane properties not knowing that if you receive what made the men themselves you can change the tides there are people today who do not see eyeball to eyeball this car is for me this house is for me that is the least of it We're about to pray. I came tonight full of the spirit. I want to release something from my spirit. Believe me, help them. Honestly, I came from the depth of my spirit that something will be placed upon your head that will so turn your life around. 